Horford the pass to White. Austin again missing. Curry against Smart. Outside Curry. Another three for Golden State. Curry. Yeah, they built three up points. this lead three points at a time. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a 10 point lead. Some breathing room heading into the break. Shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. Back to the action after this word. And so far through one quarter it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. In a moment I'll quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Warriors. Guys, they are dialed in from beyond right now. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove in this game. I'm loving the ping-pong action of the ball tonight. A decent number of assists so far. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. We've got Otto Porter Jr. Kaminga out there with Looney. Then there's Peyton, and it's Curry in at the point. Peyton looking it over. Pass to Porter. Lock at six. There's Kaminga. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Kaminga's got the lead up to 12 now for the Warriors. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Their last encounter was in San Francisco. In the last meeting of these two teams, they were really sharp defensively. And they may occupy different conferences, but certainly some familiarity between these two teams, Grant. Well, familiarity, huh? I mean, that's one way to put it. When these two teams face off, you know there's going to be some extra angst on the court and in the crowd. I'll tell you, rivalries like this really up the intensity. This should be a fun one. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. The Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson, the guards. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Draymond Green. And it's Thompson in at the three slot. And Brown is just an exceptional player. Really love whenever he shows off his athletic ability. Poole outside. Uses the glass on the layup. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Smart passes to Williams. Now Brown pulls it. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Oh, how about the quickness of that release? Brown just training that catch and shoot jumper with ease. Thompson outside. Pass to Curry from outside the arc. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Smart passes to Brown. Horford with it. Tatum with it. Defended by Thompson. Back to Horford. Right side Tatum. Six to shoot. Shoots over Thompson. And it's Tatum missing. Uh, with the deep playing soft off him. He might have been better off taking it to the hoop instead of settling for the jump. Curry passes to Poole. Pass to Green. Poole outside. He can't get that one to fall. So the Celtics will take it the other way. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Warriors. It was poor efficiency scoring the ball. They needed too many attempts to get their points. And they had a hard time taking the lid off the basket. Their offense just looked flat. And you can't measure Smart's value by the numbers. He does all the little things. I mean, he gives you toughness, courage, and sustained effort. Yep, count it. Stephen. Curry's got five points. Well, yeah, maybe you would think Steph would be thrown off by some contact, but think again. Just too good of a finisher in close. Too much feel for the bucket. Tatum. 
And the layup is good. And what stands out about Smart is how many winning plays he makes, Chris. It could be a shot, a pass, a steal, a crucial rebound. I mean, you want him in there when the game's on the line. Curry with it. Guarded now by Smart. Thompson outside. Poole against Horford. Pulls up. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. He's got seven. Uh, using so many devices to get a shot. I mean, that time, Curry on the catch and shoot. Here's Tatum. Oh, rejected by Wiggins. Three on three. Pool for three. Another three for Goldman State. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. And Boston calls time here. The defense of Wiggins, Grant. Something that he's turned around in his career. Yeah, you know, B.A., he went from a weak defender to a strong one. He's always had the tools, but he's putting it all together and can now be a lockdown wing. Now here's Brown. One thirty-six left now in the first quarter. Brown with the steal over Thompson. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Golden State has gone two for two from deep to start this one. Driving inside. Here's Kuminga. Gets a second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Making the most of that possession. Unwilling to give up on the play. Tice passes to White. Outside, Brown. One minute left in the first quarter of the game. And the shot goes down. Brown's got six points. Oh, you love the level of concentration Brown maintains. I mean, taking the hit well and finishing the stop. Here's Kaminga. On the wing, Thompson. Six on the shot clock. From 13. And it's good as he snugs it right through the net. This is an outstanding first quarter from the field. Austin trailing. Left side white. Good work there as it goes. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. The Warriors have gone seven of nine. A solid percentage so far. About three seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Peyton. Got a piece of it. Pass to Pritchard. Tice with the ball. Outside, Williams. Back to Brown. Fires the three. Oh, at the buzzer! Wow! I didn't think he was going to get it off in time. Oh, wow about the clock awareness. Great job. To... A nice first quarter of play. We've seen plenty of offense so far. The Warriors on top. They're up by one. Let's take a quick break. And then it's on to the second quarter after this. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. Now, what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? They're off to a rock-solid start. They brought a well-thought-out plan into this one. But yeah, this is their preferred pace, and it's gotten them out to an early lead. And so, in the game for the Warriors, Kaminga is out there with Kevon Looney. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then there's Otto Porter. And it's Peyton in at the two-spot. And he drives in. And down it goes! Jam that one home! <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. And rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this tight? A nice shot by Brown. Determining Brown ceiling. I mean, how good of an outside shooter can he become? I mean, to me, that's, that's the only question. But uh, he may have already exceeded expectations. Outside Curry. Points. That one goes. Curry's got nine. 
Yeah, put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Oh, you know what it is. One play at a time. That's got to be the mindset, especially in such a tight game. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Williams is checked in for Tice. Horford comes in for Williams. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Jalen Brown. And Smart subbed in for Pritchard. Count it. Uh, I like Smart being aggressive right time. Getting into the lane. Using his power and speed to his advantage. Wiggins against Horford. Misses off the left iron. Oh, you hate to let those easy chances slip through your fingers. Yeah, B.A., and, and you know, everybody wants to compare everybody. Tatum's like Kobe. Tatum's like Paul Pierce. But you watch Tatum, he's carved out a niche of his own. Unloads from 13. The rebound by Wiggins. The Warriors have gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Here's Curry. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Cool against White. The kick to Tatum. The three. Warriors with the rebound. And the unique blend of size and skill makes Tatum so difficult to match up with Chris. Bigger defenders can't mirror him. Smaller defenders He's can't alter the shot. Foul. And he's still at the beginning First stages of his development. Bielitsa is checked in for Porter Jr. Poole with the ball. Picked up by Tatum. Poole shot is off. Boston's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. Wiggins against Tatum. Green in the post. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Doesn't go that time. On left side, Williams. Pass to Smart. Outside Tatum. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That'll be a second foul of the game. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Second team foul. A minute 58 left to play in the first half. Thompson. Pass to Poole. And Grant, you were named co-rookie of the year alongside Jason Kidd back in 95. Something that's only happened three times in NBA history. Yeah, I'm still bitter about that. I was robbed. Jason knows that. Everyone knows that. Now, nah, Jason and I, we are good friends. We joke about this all the time, but it was really an honor to share this award with someone of his caliber. Really one of the true greats to ever play in the NBA. But I was still robbed. <laughs> it's been an ugly quarter for him. Trying to shoot his way out of it. Might be time to work on the playmaking skills. To win the drought. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Poole's gone two of five from the floor. Now the Celtics on the move. Thompson against Horford. The kick to Tatum. Four on the clock. Over Green. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Not the most productive quarter he'll ever have, but his shot selection's been a little bit dubious. Playing him tough inside and preventing the layup. That'll get the whole team pumped up. Tatum inside. He's against Bielitsa, and it's Tatum missing. Golden State has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Bielitsa. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. He doesn't get the finish, but the D's got to be quicker to rotate and stop him from getting to the rim. There's Tatum with the three. What a play! He drains it at the buzzer! What an ending to the first half. A buzzer-beating three to take the lead. And we're through the first half of play here at... It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show.
A tremendous game we're seeing from Jalen Brown. He had 12 points and one steal. It's hard to imagine how... Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close the game we've seen so far. Jalen Brown having a dominant impact in this game. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And, and as they can't slow him down, you know what you do? Keep feeding them and feeding them and feeding them. This is the right game plan. At the two and the three, Brown and Tatum. Robert Williams out there with Al Horford. And it's Smart in at the point guard position. That's the Boston Five. Brown with it. Green picks him up. Williams passes to Tatum. Not going to go that time. Nice D from Thompson. Tatum with a steal. Count it. Tatum's got nine. Showing off different dimensions to his game. I mean, Tatum's ability to get it done from there as well is impressive. Poole with the ball. He's got five. Thompson shot is off. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Yeah. And I have two, which is why they're okay with it. I'm sure if he gets that kind of look again, he's going to let it fly again. Tatum from long range. Clay Thompson pulls down the board. The Warriors trailing. You have to love watching Clay Thompson play. I mean, to me, he's one of the greatest shooters ever. Perfect form in the least. Releases. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Boston has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. The kick to Tatum. With the fadeaway. That won't go either for Tatum. And with Thompson at his touch, he'll be able to stay effective through injury and age for a long time. Well, B.A., you got to look at guys who came back from the Achilles injury. Having a great shot helps you maintain your effectiveness and play uh, the purest jumpers ever. Curry against Smart. Here's Wiggins. And again, no good by Golden State. Might take them a little while to find their stride here in the second half. Only one for four so far. Just need to calm down. That's his first. And that one falls for Smart. A six foot four. 220 pounds. Marcus Smart might be the most physically imposing point guard in the league, especially with this fiery approach to the game. And the Warriors making a switch here. Looney's checked in for Green. Kaminga comes in for Wiggins. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Clay Thompson. And Peyton is subbed in for Poole. Porter finds Peyton. Takes the three. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Curry. Peyton's got seven. Such a smart read by Curry. He has an uncanny ability to know whenever one of his guys is over. That'll be a five-second call. Violation. Here's a look at some stats for Jason Tatum. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. And it's good for two. Assisted. I like how Curry shoots that one, but no need to force the issue. Smart. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the point. And so Smart nails them both. The Warriors have gotten three of six shots to fall so far in the third. Outside Curry. Shoots. And there's another one for the Warriors. Oh, 
This game is so beautiful. It's a joy to watch. Curry, when he's at the top of this game like this, crazy. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. That's his first. And he knocks down the first one. And the Celtics making a change here. White's checked in. It's both from the stripe. 152 left to play in the third quarter. To the paint. Here's Looney. And Looney with the slam. Well, shots don't get any higher percentage than this. Looney is solid. Getting good positioning. Oh! Throw it down! You can't teach that. Brown just showing off his incredible dunking ability. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated. Able to shut it down with authority. Back to Curry. To the middle. Oh, deflected. Oh, it's stolen by Tice. Here's Pritchard. Curry with some nice D. Golden State has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. And there's Porter on the assist by Curry. More than just an outside shooter. When Porter has good position inside. He'll use it. Here's Tice. Pass to Brown. And the jam by Brown. It's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. The Warriors have gone six for nine in the half. Curry goes in. Yes, it's good. Curry's got six here in the quarter. Boston's gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Tice passes to White. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. The three from Curry. He's now eight for 11 after that made shot. That gives him two three pointers for the game. One in each half. I mean, he may add to that total pretty soon. Here's Brown. That is now his seventh field goal in 10 attempts. Impressive. His energy level has never dropped in this game. I mean, he's working his tail off. The D struggling to keep up. Now here's Curry. He's got 18. Pass to Kaminga. Fires the three. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got four assists in the game. Curry knows his own skill set, but more importantly, he knows his teammates. I mean, you know your personnel, KYP, you know, always puts him in the best position to score. Stephen Curry getting it done for the Golden State Warriors. Moving the rock and looking for a shot. It's clear he's in a good We're playing fine. Everything's good. The turnovers. It's the fourth quarter. We've reached the fourth yeah. quarter in what has been a very competitive game. Should be an exciting finish. On the court for Golden State to start the fourth. Play at the two with Wiggins at the three. Nemanja Bielica is out there with Draymond Green. And it's Curry in at the point. Golden State has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line on this one. Curry passes to Green. Here's Wiggins. Pass to Thompson. The three. Another shot. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. It's Brown on the wing. Outside, Williams. And here's Tatum. It's stolen by Green. And he's all alone. The finish. And it's hammered home by Green. Green. It's easy to see why Green is considered an elite defender. He's terrific at getting under the skin of his opponents. Pass to Curry. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. And now it's a four-point Warrior lead. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Warriors. They played a heads-up brand of basketball this entire game. They got the steal for proof. Something else they've excelled at is their interior D. Their rim protection has been outstanding. Thompson finds Curry. Takes a turnaround, Jay, and it's good. Stephen. Two points. Curry. Curry's got 22 points. Cutting into this lead, they're well within striking distance. Yeah, just trying to keep the Golden momentum State now. Final. That's easier said Rayon than done. B. And they've been playing with That's much greater first. physicality this half. Getting themselves to the free throw line is a bust. And what you love about Tatum is that scoring gene, but with efficiency, both from the field and the line.
And the Celtics making a change here. Smart's checked in. And Golden State also making a switch. Pools checked in. Moving along. Two minutes gone in the fourth. Curry, no good. Austin trailing. Smart passes to Tatum. Outside, Williams. Five on the clock. And Tatum with the basket. On the assist from Williams. From Robert Williams. Williams has got three assists tonight. The Warriors have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Outside, Green. Pass to Curry. Let's go with a three. Knocks it down from distance. Curry's got 16 points here in the second half. Big bucket. That's how you do it if you're Steph Curry. Horford passes to Smart. And here's Tatum, defended by Thompson. Tatum inside, working on Thompson. Here's Horford, and Horford powers it home. Oh, and that's what you expect from your star players. I mean, Horford turns it up, including coming through with the big key bucket. Back to Curry. And Marcus Smart picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Three. Plays with a bit of quiet intensity, but Wiggins has shown the ability to rise up in the big moments. Raymond Green. That's his second pick. He gets the first, and that brings him within two here. And a tough break as his second attempt is no good at the line. And they need to play good defense here. That trip to the line helped and hurt. The Celtics have gotten four or five attempts to fall so far in the fourth. Right side Brown. Tatum. Smart outside. Oh, and they take the lead. Well, that's one of those buckets that stand out. Nice play. Golden State has got one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Curry from deep three-point land. Offensive rebound. Ooh, rejected by Horford. Here's Tatum. Takes it inside. What amazing. So much talent for Tatum. Also, that inside is smart. And 101 left to play in the fourth. Inside. Here's Poole. And it's in. Golden. And that one brings him within one. And talk about stepping up in a big way. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They thought they could count on him to make crucial shots. Smart passes to Tatum. The Warriors pull it in. The three from Curry. The offensive rebound. This might be a turning point. Massive possession here. Warford. Money will turn up here. And Warford, one of the great leaders in the game. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta lead by example, especially in the country. Timeout called the Warriors. They trail by three. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. All right, we present our new balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking them. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. With it being such a tight game, he tried to lighten the mood in the huddle, saying, quote, it's just a game, guys. Have fun. Stay loose. Let it fly. I believe in you guys. Let's see if that laid-back approach works. Okay, thanks, Allie. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Uh, yeah, the footwork, the positioning. Tatum's a difficult covering side. 
So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a two-point ball game. Now that's how you capitalize at the line. As long as they play good defense, they should have this win sealed. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. They're trailing by two. Seven seconds left in the final quarter. Your thoughts, guys? A chance to tie it up here. Or they could take the lead if they play for the three. Interesting decision. So it's a narrow victory for the Celtics, pulling it out for the W. What a performance they have here at home today. I'll tell you 